What's going on, everybody? Update, bristle nose fry, grow out. I've got them going in the breeder box on my 125 gallon. And um, these are only yeah, a few weeks old now, so they've more than doubled in size. Um, hard to give you a comparison's sake, but I'm going to say they're about a half inch long right now already. So I put a couple, uh, I've been using Tetra uh, wafers, like algae veggie wafers, and Hikari those green, I think they're called algae wafers. Just small little bits of them broken up. I think I have 11 of them in here. Um, they all have a little bit of a different look to them. Some of them are a little more like a white gray and then some are more brown, the traditional brown colors. I'm fairly certain that the mom is the albino and the dad is a regular traditional uh, brown crystal nose. So I don't know if any of these will be albino or not, if that's the case. And like I said, I'm not uh, some genetics person or I don't know anything about, uh, you know, dominant traits or recessive ones, but they're doing great. I mean, they're doing great. Uh, I've got this uh, little breeder box being cy cycled by or siphoned by a uh, small little whisper pump, which is bringing in uh, fresh water. There's one of the layer ones right up there in the front and the bottom going towards the food. He's a lot lighter. And one of the back is a lot lighter. And then there's some brown ones back there. So, they're doing great though. Like I said, they're growing big. I'm going to hopefully be moving them over very soon. Which I'll show you here. That's the breeder box. Um, there's what I think is the mom right there and the dad is somewhere else in here um, oh yeah there he is in the background there kind of hard to see but he's under that little rock lip so that's the dad now what I got going on under my tank here is a five and a half gallon tank which I'm going to fill and I've got two really tiny little uh, tetra pumps back here so um, got a uh, 50 watt heater in there and this is gonna be this is gonna be the tank I'm gonna be using basically to grow these things out when they get a little bit bigger because I can't leave them in the breeder box too long. So five and a half gallon. Um, we'll see how that goes. I have uh, plenty of media from the other tank and I'm gonna probably just take some of the media out and some of the rocks and driftwood and then uh, move it right under here under my uh, big tank. So it should be easy to drain and maintain. Grow the bristle noses out in there. Uh, sorry about the glare. It's daytime. It's the only way I can show you the the fish. And then um, so I have an idea here. Still got the rest of the uh, fry growing out in here from my original batch. Once again, sorry for the glare. And then there's my big OB. And then I got this monster, ridiculous bristle nose in here. There's his head. Inside there he's kind of hard to see. So, there's all the little guys. There's the one female I added in. This guy in the front, I'm fairly certain, right here, is a male. And I'm pretty sure all the rest of these are females in here. And these were the red shoulder um, mixed with that Z-Rock hybrid, or it might have been the Taiwan Reef, and the jury's still out and who the daddy is. But I'm, um, I did have this female holding about a week or so ago. This is the second time she's held, but I didn't get her out in time, and she got stressed out and ended up spitting the, uh, spitting the eggs. So once I see uh, them mate again, probably be within another month, 
I'm going to remove her immediately or within the next couple of days. I, I tried to leave her in for seven days, but she didn't make it with the eggs. So we'll see what happens. But boy, that would make a nice pair, that really awesome yellow uh, OB. And then that uh, dragon blood. She's got some kind of spotting on her too. So at any rate, his colors are pretty awesome. So he would make a great breeder. We'll see what happens. Really an unusual kind of an OB. Some people hate the OBs. Um, this one happens to be pretty neat. So bring it back over on this side. My original OB. He's still doing great. He's the one-eyed wonder though. Here, he's missing an eye. But he's of the yellow variety also. Um, he's one of my older uh, peacock half tank originators. But really an awesome color on this guy. Um, he lost his eye in a battle with uh, a really big super dominant uh, orange OB. I'm going to say he's a few years old, at least, something like that. So, well, signing off, I just wanted to give a quick update on the bristle noses, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll check out the rest of the tin contents as we go along. Thanks for watching.